What's up everyone? This is Josh Room from Use Space Healing. Today I want to talk about autophagy and the importance of retinol. But before we get you jump in, as always, please like this video, show us a little support. Hit that subscription button or notification button because every single Wednesday we release a video and you will get notified. Before we jump in, I want to get started and say I know this is a controversial topic. I know that when you talk about autophagy, everyone gravitates towards fasting and it's not something we support. So if it's something that you support and you agree with, but you disagree with us, that is great. If you want to come in here and fight and argue, you will be ignored. If you get, let's say, you know, really rude, you will be blocked. It's that simple. And I don't like to do that because I believe that we can all have adult conversations, but unfortunately in this day and age with social media, we have a lot of keyboard warriors with internet muscles and that just doesn't happen. But let's jump in. So of course we talk about autophagy, which is recycling out damaged cells so we can regenerate new ones. The gold standard is fasting. And as you know, we don't agree with that at all. Right? Yes, I know research shows this, but here's the thing. <clears throat> we believe that we're human and we need food and the solution is not to eat less. Right? Just like the solution is not to take more supplements. I believe that we're becoming lazier and lazier and lazier as a society and we want to do the least we can to create health and that's what the health industry has turned into. So we don't agree with this. But here's the interesting thing. That all the recycling systems, whether it's autophagy, iron recycling, the list goes on and energy production. If we support our body in a way to support all this and we live in a way to support all this, the body will do exactly what it needs to do. And that is recycle, produce energy and create health. But when we don't, we need to pull in other tools to create the illusion that we're helping our body instead of saying, why do I need this? Why? Because I'm not living and eating and breathing in a way to support autophagy. So I have to bring in something that supports it. The problem is you're building up damaged cells faster than you can recycle them. But here's the interesting thing. Autophagy is induced by the atra hormone, right? Which we produce atra, and you can read the description for that breakdown, with retinol. It's a retinol based hormone and that induces autophagy and aptosis. But here's an interesting kicker. You need retinol to induce autophagy. We know this, but you also need retinol to induce or metabolize copper in the liver, right? Copper is loaded via retinol into ATP 7A in the liver and B in, I'm sorry, A in the, in the intestine and everywhere else and B in the liver to produce ceruloplasm, which is bioavailable copper. And we use that to activate the DO enzyme. We use it for many enzymatic reactions. We use it to recycle iron through hephaestin and ferrooxidase and ferroportin, right? Those enzymes. But we also use it to activate oxygen to produce energy and all your copper rich antioxidants, like I've said before, glutathione peroxidase, catalase, cytochrome oxidase, superoxidismutase, etc. So if we don't have retinol, we can induce autophagy. Right? So we go, oh, I need fasting. If we don't have retinol, we can't metabolize copper. So, right? so people say, I have anemia, or I have histamine problem, or I have copper toxicity. You don't, you have a retinol deficiency, which is showing you you have a copper deficiency, which causes inflammation. That stimulates, you know, cytokines, that stimulates um, different things like NF kappa B. So here's the thing, inflammation right? Because we don't have enough copper, we can't recycle iron. So iron builds up in the tissues. Well, iron is highly inflammatory. Iron stimulates mTOR and NF kappa B, which is an inflammatory marker, which inhibit autophagy. Pretty interesting, right? No retinol, no autophagy. No retinol, can't metabolize copper. You can't recycle iron. Iron builds up. That stimulates mTOR and NF kappa B, which inhibits autophagy. Now remember that if we don't have retinol and we don't have copper, we can't produce energy. We can't produce all our copper rich antioxidants, which means we can't put out the little fires that naturally happen in the body. We, you know, when you convert thyroid hormone, there's little fires, right? There's little free radicals you put out. When you produce energy, little fire, you can put it out. The list goes on, right? But those antioxidants allow us to do that. 
So if you don't have copper, you don't activate oxygen, you don't produce ATP, you don't produce the, in these antioxidants, you are now producing cytokines and interleukins and NF-kappa-D, you go deeper into that inflammatory state, which of course is going to cause more damaged cells and you can't regenerate them. So that inflammation, of course, deeper down the line is going to inhibit autophagy, right? So you have to think about it, that if we live in a way and eat in a way to support all our recycling systems, right? The, if you give the body what it needs, nature will do the rest. But the problem is we live beyond our means. We eat more supplements than food. We want to eat less food. We want to fast. We want to work out more than ever before. Or on the other end of it, we're doing nothing but just working all the time. And we're chronically stressed, right? So we're not eating and living in a way to support our body to do what it's designed to do. So to create the illusion that we're helping our system, we pull in fasting because it supports autophagy. But the kicker is, remember, you're not giving your body what it needs. That's why nature can't do the rest. And if we take a step back, instead of reacting and saying, this is the answer, I'm essentially, maybe I don't know, or I just wanna be lazy, I don't wanna change. But what we really have to do is step back and say, I want to change because I want to create change. I want to eat in a way and live in a way to support autophagy. I want to eat and live in a way to support iron recycling. I want to eat and live in a way to support energy production. Because when we do that, right, the amount of cells that are damaged that build up can easily be regenerated. There's an easy ratio going on. But we're in this huge inflammatory state because we're not getting enough retinol, which most people don't, because they're not eating enough fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, herring, and sardines, right? A dairy is more damaged ever before. Yes, people eat eggs, but we're also not eating organ meat. So the shellfish and, or sorry, the fatty fish and the organ meats are the missing link. Of course, there's more of this, but, um, and people are taking in dairy and synthetic supplements with retinol palmitate. This is a huge problem because it's not retinol. Right? So we're not getting the very things to support autophagy. We're not getting the very things to support any of this. So we're creating way more debt and we can't keep up. We cannot keep up. So we think fasting is the answer and is not the answer for long term sustainable health. Right? So as always, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, post them below. Please read the description because there's a bigger breakdown of what I said in there. And as always, Thank you again for the support. I'm out.